And uh, the debt toll due to the consumption of the illegal liquor in the state has now gone up to 60 with seven more deaths. Seven more deaths stand confirmed. Uh, a big, big update in the Bihar hooch tragedy. The debt toll continues to rise, has now mounted to 60. Let me go across to Aditya. Aditya, while, you know, this is being mocked by the Bihar chief minister, questions being asked by the opposition in Bihar on why ridicule such a serious issue, uh, you know, why going ahead with statements such as Pioge to Maroge, he continues to not apologize, not be apologetic about that statement, uh, takes it a step further, but the debt toll, most importantly, continues to mount. 60 is what we are picking up right now. Aditya. Aditya, if you can hear me, what more can you tell us about the seven more deaths, the confirmation that's coming in in the latest? It's taken the death toll up to 60. Well, exactly. As far as the death toll is concerned, of course, the death toll has risen to a level of 60 as far as current death. Uh, okay, we don't have a very clear audio line with you, Aditya. We'll come back to you. But uh, the debt toll continues to climb. It's mounted to 60. Nitish Kumar, who yesterday in the Bihar Assembly, while uh, patting the BJP MLAs, laughed it off, mockingly said, Piyoge to Maroge, to which a lot of criticism has come in from the opposition ranks. No remorse whatsoever from the chief minister, from his party, from the alliances uh, that his government is with in, Guj in uh, Bihar, I beg your pardon. But the tragedy uh, is revealing some very horrific details. The death toll has climbed to 60 in the latest. Aditya, yes. As far as the Saran Hooch tragedy is concerned, the death toll has finally mounted to a level of 60 and the Bihar Chief Minister Nitish Kumar still continues to be unapologetic over what happened in Saran. Interesting to note here is the fact that an adjoining district of Sivan too has reported some suspected Hooch related deaths and the number is 5 and the enraged locals of place Brahmasthan where the incident has been reported in Sivan, they have obstructed traffic on Bhagwanpur main road and they are protesting against uh, the illegal leaker that continues to flow in dry state Bihar. Hmm. But the question is being asked at this point in time with regards to the series of events regarding the hooch tragedy one after the other unfolding in the state of Bihar. Uh, you know, talk about how over 40 died in Baksar due to spurious liquor in January 2022, eight deaths that took place in two separate incidents during Holi in 2021, and questions being asked as to why is it that no accountability is being given? Well, exactly. As far as the accountability is concerned, of course, uh, the departments concerned, specifically police and excise, they are in a habit of actually rolling heads of small-time officials and putting the entire blame and onus of what happened and what allowed illegal leaker inside dry state Bihar. But then interesting to see is that not a single top cop or a single top official has been finally considered guilty by the state government as well. So this has been a common trend. If at all you see all those death cases due to consumption of spurious leaker, most of the cases they have made it a point that they will actually act upon junior level officers, while the senior officials remain uh, to be scot free and so this is what actually is okay. irking the opposition and the, uh, uh, the families of... Uh, okay, as a result of what's happening in Bihar, stay on with us, Aditya, we have a 